Hello guys and welcome to today's subscriber update for June 2nd, 2016. And as you can see, I got some new toys this weekend. The Pie Top Seed finally came in. I made a unboxing and first look video on that. The link for that will be in the description if you want to check it out. Overall, my thoughts towards it were pretty good and I'm still playing around with it so far. I'm really liking it. Uh, the performance of the Pie Top, or not the Pie Top, sorry, but the Raspberry Pi 3 with Ubuntu Mate installed is a little underwhelming. I still have some tweaks to make, but overall, yeah, everything's good going good with that. I also picked up a new monitor. I'll talk a little bit about that in just a minute. It's not really the monitor that's the interesting part. It's what the monitor shipped in. But first things first, we need to announce the June giveaway winner. All right, and of course I'm gonna do it on camera so you guys can see that there's no trickery going on here. So I have random.org open right now. We're gonna generate a random number in between one and 90. We have about 87 entries right now. So I just left it at 90 because I'm lazy. So let's go ahead and and generate it. We're going to generate it three times. And on the third time, that is the number we are going to use. One, that's 14, 65, 86. So who is number 86? All right, so YouTube user Bry, Bry Toys, Bry Toys. I, I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, you are the winner. And as you can see, I didn't put the uh, email addresses right here. I went ahead and blanked that out. So I will be contacting you today about shipping. Bry Toys, I think, I think it's Bry Toys. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get away from that. Uh, but we will not be having a July giveaway just because I don't have time. I've been absolutely slammed with classes and yeah, I don't wanna add another thing on top of everything. It's already uh, hard enough as it is. So no giveaway for July. There will be one for August. I do have one planned for August and I have a really awesome product uh, to give away for August. So uh, stay tuned for that. Now, unfortunately, I do have some bad news about one of the Indiegogo campaigns that I backed. As you can see, this one shipped successfully. No problem there. There were a few delays, but overall, the campaign timeline was uh, pretty on point. Um, but the, uh, what, what was it? Oh, I just lost the name. The next stock, there we go, the next stock. I don't, I don't know why I forgot it there, but the uh, next stock Odium actually went up in flames and everything was lost. Like the whole factory was completely destroyed. Uh, they sent out some pictures in the email, which I will put out on the screen now, but it looks like it's gonna be a very, very, very long time before they get back on track. They have 500 units that were slightly singed and I think they're gonna try to ship those out. So maybe we might get one of those, I don't know. Um, but things aren't looking too great for that campaign. No one was hurt in the fire, so that was a good thing. It was during their off hours, and uh, I'm, you know, best of luck to Next Stock to getting back online as soon as possible, but that is kind of a disappointment. Now for some good news. I was sitting in chem class with my laptop open. I had uh, Chromium up with my email up and then the PowerPoint up right next to it, and I got an email from AdFruit, and it turns out the Raspberry Pi Zero went back in stock, and I ordered it right as I got the email, and of course they went out of stock like five minutes later, but I got one. I finally managed to get one. If any of you don't actually know what this is, basically it's just a $5 SBC and I'm really looking forward to playing around with this. This is going to be so much fun and I'm so glad uh, I actually hopped on that and was finally able to attain one. I've said this in my last couple videos but I'll say it again. The video schedule for this month is going to be absolutely hectic because of my summer classes. I uh, don't really know when anything is going to be published. I'm going to try to get one or two videos out per weekend but I'm not guaranteeing anything. This weekend is a bit of an exception uh, because it is a three-day weekend and I do have Monday off so I'm going to try to get three videos out this weekend but as far as everything else is concerned after this for this month I have no idea what's going on <laughs> now to that Dell monitor I bought a Dell E23 16 HR 23 inch LED monitor for 117 bucks off Amazon and I got that through the Amazon warehouse deals because they're practically new products for a lot less um, so I bought that it shipped in like one day because it didn't ship till uh, the night before it was supposed to arrive it FedExed over here it arrived on my doorstep and I was kind of concerned and I'll show you why. I'm gonna bring you outside because the box is out there and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the monitor. It's pretty thin, pretty light. Once again, 23 inches in size. And you would think they would ship this in, you know, a small to medium size box. But no, no, they ship it in a box the size of a flipping coffin. I mean, you could have fit like three people in it. It was absolutely ridiculous. And Amazon's always complaining about how they're trying to cut down on their shipping costs. And then they do stupid stuff like that. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. It showed up on my doorstep and I'm like, 
I didn't order anything like that. What in the world is that? I was honestly, I was scared to open it because I was like, they wouldn't put a 23 inch monitor in a box this size. And lo and behold, they actually did. That was so, I, I just found that really interesting. It was actually really funny. I had a good laugh out of that. So I just thought I would share it with you guys. All right, and I'll just give you guys a little sneak peek of what is coming up. I have another product from Orico. It's a 15 port USB hub. That that's I'm 15 ports. What are you gonna do with 15 ports? That's that's crazy. So I really wanted to get my hands on this. And this is 13 port hub. It actually has 13 ports for data transfer and two for charging for a total of 15 USB ports. So I'm really looking forward to taking a look at this. That's gonna be about it for this subscriber update. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links. You can also support me by checking out my Patreon. All those links will be in the description. And of course, please don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.